with our angelic communities, it's not necessary for you to request the support. We're aware of that which is unfolding for you and have already prepared the support for you when you get to that space. You cross that bridge when you get there. The bridge was already set for you because once again, as angelic guardians, we exist beyond the illusion of space and time. We recognize what's going to take place two, three, four, five seconds before you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven days before you. We recognize the nature of all the infinite timelines and that's the, that's the nature or the gift that allows us to be of support to you, to exist beyond the illusion. So we know the energies that you're entertaining and the probability possibilities that exist before you. So of course the request to the angelic realms wouldn't be, please help me with this, please give me the guidance, please give me the strength, please give me the support, the resources that I need. The request would be, or it wouldn't necessarily be a request, it'd be a statement. The statement would be, thank you. Thank you for setting up the support that I need because this may be a little challenging. This was, I wasn't necessarily aware of, however, if I calm myself and I exist within the space of peace, I have the clarity to recognize the resources that I've been set up for this moment, for me to enjoy, for me to embrace, for me to move forward in a calm, graceful manner because life is infinitely intelligent. There are no mistakes. It's necessary for me to feel the feelings that this now moment provides. Me feeling the feelings that this now moment provides expands my capacity to receive more of my love. It was only necessary for me to feel and be okay with feeling the way that the experience may have triggered or brought about. So of course, once again, there's, never, there's no such thing as too much gratitude. No such thing. There's no such thing as too much gratitude. The blessings continue, the experience continues, and the unconditionally loving support continues for you in each and every moment. That which you're creating for yourself, you are safe in this now moment. The ignorance of the mind identity feels that you need to prepare to get ready for as if aspects of self with access to infinite abundance of information and resources aren't already aware of that which is within the illusion. Thank you, Meg. Thank, thank the triggers. Thank you for triggering me. Thank you for showing me where the kinks were in my armor. Thank you for showing me that. I can recognize those feelings, readjust and reestablish more of an awareness in the grounded nature of the divine truth. I'm safe. This is my experience. This is my creation. So, of course, I can celebrate. I can show life. I have the capacity to receive more love. Every experience has a polarity or the mere opposite of that particular experience. It's just that. Peace is necessary for me to recognize both ends of the spectrum, both sides of the same coin. Peace is necessary to recognize that. <laughs> poise. Cool. Cool is a Nigerian word. It was about poise. It was about cool. It was about trust. It was about confidence. It was about knowing to be hip, to know that you're safe. That's the nature of cool. In truth, us in this spectrum of existence, as we continue to respect and acknowledge and trust ourselves, we are the new leaders of cool. There's nothing cooler than peace, nothing. Yeah, some may say love, but listen, love is the fabric. Peace is the frequency. 
Love is the fabric of existence. Yes, unconditional love and acceptance, that's the fabric. However, peace is the eternal frequency. That is who you are. That is the truth of you. The state that you're in when you wake up in the morning, the state that you're in before you close your eyes to go to bed at night, that is who you are. Emotions are temporary. You are eternal. Peace is who you are. To remain peaceful amongst the illusion, not allowing yourself to be emotionally manipulated by the outside experience, by the illusion. No, I'm not going to match your energy. <laughs> that is you uh, manipulating me. That is you changing me. No, I'm the Prince of Peace. I am God manifest in this reality. Imagine me following you. No, I'm not going to match your energy. I am the creator. I'm here to set an example. I'm here to lead. No, I'm not going to match your energy. I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. Some of these distortions amongst the newly awakened community may sound cool, but are truly distorted and the foundation of much suffering. The cycles of suffering, me feeling as if me getting back at myself is somehow accepting myself. No, I'm hurting myself as I so fervently intend to exist beyond the drama. I'm allowing people to <laughs> manipulate me into feeding drama by doing what they do. No, thank you. Once again, I'm a leader, not a follower. <laughs> I don't need to protect my energy. From who? From who? Who am I, who is God protecting its energy from? Who? Who am I protecting my energy from? What am I preparing for? Am I preparing for destruction? Am I preparing for illusions? Once again, kings and queens, we don't validate illusions protecting my energy from someone who the devil fear who is God protecting his energy from uh -huh. peace doesn't win because nobody loses Love is not here to conquer because that's all there is. Love doesn't conquer anything. <laughs> There's only love. God doesn't win anything. There's only God. There's only me. There's only my energy, me experiencing my own energy. It requires great confidence to exist beyond the games of duality, beyond the mind games of the illusion. Even the way that we've been programmed to speak is riddled with separation. And of course, it comes from a wholesome place. There is no right or wrong. I'm not necessarily attacking anyone. But once again, the way in which we communicate is riddled in separation. Those are the games of duality. When we talk about um, there is... Uh, spiritual warfare and all of people this we I, you got to protect yourself from this is all duality oh you got to be positive you, they, you might as well just say right or wrong good and bad the, those are those are con that is within the context of duality <laughs> oh well, I, i'm trying to be po more positive than i am negative well you might as well just say you're trying to be more good than bad because once again that is the world that is the realm of duality 
that is still the illusion. It's the same thing. We can slice it and dice it and change up the terms, but once again, the, the implications are the same. That is the illusion of duality, of separate, the God and the devil. This path is in transcending those realities. We're moving beyond it, seeing from a higher vintage point. These are all the games of the lower game board to see from the higher perspective, to soar beyond the illusion of separation is to reconnect yourself with the one, with God and all being God's creations and serves all 